what is up guys? Welcome to the Different by Design YouTube channel. I'm your host Nick Treister and today we are going to be looking at the former Maytag headquarters located in Newton, Iowa. It went from being a manufacturing facility to part of Maytag's corporate offices. This would have been a beehive of activity back when the company was at its strongest point. It also probably was quite a show place in its day. Now, this building was actually turned over to the community college after Maytag was bought out by a rival corporation, Whirlpool. Maytag was one of those pillars of the community and everybody wanted a job at Maytag because the best wages in town were probably with the big corporation. Just like many other American manufacturers, the employees of Maytag took much pride in their work. Pretty common for multiple generations to be working together under the same roof or side by side on the assembly line. Much pride in their work and built very, very dependable products. In fact, this campus was once named Dependability Square as a tribute to Maytag's reputation. For Maytag, the transition from making farm implements to appliances was actually very successful. It was in 1907 that they decided to supplement their farm manufacturing business with a washer. They used lessons learned from building farm equipment and applied them to building washing machines. One of their greatest applications of innovation was actually building gasoline washing machines. Now this may seem strange, but back in the day, there was not electricity in many rural households. This gasoline model of washing machine was actually a solution for people that did not have readily available electricity as the grid was still being developed. During the war, Maytag was developing products for the US government. When these soldiers came home, they wanted to build houses and those houses needed appliances. This caused a major demand surge for Maytag's appliances. And Maytag in turn grew very rapidly in the 1950s and 1960s. Now for Maytag, the good times kept on rolling. In the 1960s, they built a new headquarters. 1967, they released an ad campaign with the Maytag repairman, which is still very popular. This is an ode to a repairman that has nothing to do because all he does is sit around waiting for Maytags to break. Working on the Maytag, working on the Maytag. <laughs> Boy, it's sure good to be actually working on a Maytag. It's been a while. <laughs> you know, that's the trouble with you Maytag washers and dryers. You're too dependable. It's not often that anybody needs us Maytag repairmen. That's why we're the loneliest guys in town. I'm working on the Maytag. Boy, nobody fills them like Maytag. After all these years, it's still a thrill to see the inside of one of these beauties. Too rugged. Just plain too rugged. You know, I really think Maytag overdoesn't. It. I'm working on a Maytag. Work. Oh on. no, dear. Did you have to take our Maytag apart again? Says the wife of a Maytag repairman. I thought you'd understand. How else can I keep in practice? Maytag washers and dryers are a lot like Newton here. Faithful, dependable. Year after year, hardly a complaint. That's true of all Maytag. Side by side or stacked, every full size Maytag washer is built to last longer and need fewer repairs. So old Newton and I can spend a lot of time together. There is one difference between Newton and Maytag. Newton needs me. Maytag. The dependability people. As the ad campaign implied, in these times, it seemed like Maytag or their appliances could never break. In 1989, they went out and bought the parent company of Hoover Vacuum. In 1986, Maytag also acquired Magic Chef. In 2001, Maytag also acquired another appliance company called Amana. Amana was also located in Iowa and in 1947, they generated the first microwave oven. Unfortunately, the good times did not last for Maytag. By the early 2000s, they were heavily in debt from a failed product launch with the Neptune washer series, and they were also struggling to continue to pay for the merger and acquisition of Amana. By early 2006, Whirlpool had invested in this majority stake to be able to take over control of Maytag, and Maytag 
discontinued manufacturing in Newton, Iowa. It was maybe inevitable since Maytag was sometimes slow to react to market conditions and was becoming less competitive in the appliance market space. You can still buy a Maytag machine today, however it's manufactured and produced by Whirlpool Corporation. Unfortunately, Maytag is just left as a brand and no longer is a producer of its own appliances. It's unfortunate because Maytag was always known for reliability, dependability, and great products and great support. Now this area that we're currently walking through is actually a breezeway between the two main factory buildings uh, that were actually converted into headquarters later. Maytag is long gone from Newton, Iowa. However, there's many signs and a, and a great legacy that still prevails there. As shown in our next adventure, which is the Maytag Bowl, which is a staple of this community and a great landmark. It shows that this town was built around one single company. We call these company towns, but we all know that the company takes care of the people and the people take care of the company. Modern globalization prevents this from occurring in modern day, usually with industry. However, it is pretty cool to be able to visit a place like Newton, Iowa, and be able to see the legacy that the company provided to this little town. If you just look around, the signs are everywhere that a great institution was once here. All right, so I've got my buddy Kevin here with me today. Um, Kevin, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the channel? Hello, I'm Kevin Daly. I'm going to help Treaster here film some of the videos and whatnot he's going to put on the channel. And, um, I'm interested, like him, I'm also interested in, in history of industrial America, and I'm also interested in the labor history of the United States. Now, after spending the day in Newton, girlfriend and Kevin all went to a antique mall. And at the antique mall, we found several local Maytag memorabilia, and I will show you. Check it out. What the heck? What is that? No, it's a car, but it's made by Maytag. That company that we went to today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's another one. What the heck? Yeah, I guess they sponsored a car. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's a neat find. We went to the antique store after uh, going on this adventure and we were actually able to sort through some of the Newton postcards at the antique mall. And uh, my girlfriend Sammy here found two awesome postcards that show what Maytag was like back in the day. So this first one is actually a postcard. It is from, uh, let's see, I don't think it actually has a date on it, but it has it, it shows the downtown. Um, it shows the downtown factory district in Newton, Iowa. And as you can see in the postcard, it actually shows um, the Maytag factory, the building that we walked past. And it shows um, some of the downtown. Um, and this postcard was actually used and sent. Um, these are real markings written in cursive. And it was sent on January 16th, 1943. So this is a historic document that we were actually able to find. Um, and now Sammy's gonna share what she found. So this one is actually a photo of the Maytag headquarters building that um, we visited earlier today. And let's see on the back, it says Maytag Company, Newton, Iowa, headquarters building. Um, I'm gonna read this here. It says, precast concrete panels made from a sculptured model design and faced with bare colored granite chips from the exterior walls of Maytag's headquarters building. Accent and trim is 54 feet, over 500 persons representing manufacturing, marketing, accounting, personnel, and administrative divisions are housed in this attractive office. So this was another cool find. 
Well, this is going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy this, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel as we would like to build an audience for this type of content. And I wanted to take a moment to dedicate this film to the hardworking men and women who built Maytag appliances throughout the centuries at the plant in Newton, Iowa.